Hello everyone, today I will show you another great tool. This one will help you answer faster to your emails or forum posts or Facebook messages, comments and so on. It's cross-platform, text expander, Triton and Rust. It's called Espanso, I guess that's how it's called, I'm not sure how to say it. So you can even use it on Mac or Windows. I'm going to use it on Linux and show you how to edit it, but it won't be that different on Windows or Mac OS. Now let's see some of its feature. This is the based one, it has shell support. You can execute custom scripts. It has emoji support, date, and so on. Okay, so let's get going. If you go here, you will see some steps for different distributions of Linux. I have Manjaro, and I'm going to use Yai to install it. The installation took more than expected, but it's done now, so let's keep going. You can go to documentation and get started. We can see the status with sponsor status. As you can see it's not running, so just let's just run it. Perfectly. Let me check again. It's running. That's great. Okay, so let's try with date. Yes, it's working and it is working too. Let's see from the terminal. It's working here too, that's great. Okay, so now let's go through the configuration. By default, they had it like this, but I think it's, it's too much extra work, so I just like it like this. It's a lot faster. As you can see the notification, the, the config was reloaded automatically. You can use the new line, probably tab 2 and other things like that. As you can see, it automatically starts when file changes is detected. Okay, let's install the emoji package and let's try it. Yeah, I guess it's working. Yes, it's working fine. As you can see, you can disable it by double pressing Alt and enable it with the same shortcut. Or, or if you expand something and you don't want it anymore, you can just backspace and it will go back to the unexpanded snippet. Okay, let's see if we find anything interesting here. Let's see the homes. I read it through earlier and this seems to be the most interesting one. We should have Modulo installed. It's, a, it's from a GitHub repo. I'm going to install it first and come back. Okay, now that it's installed, let's see what we have here and try it. Let's do the grid thing. As you can see, it's here. Hey, Mike, happy birthday. And it's working. You have more things here, like choice field. I don't want to bore you with them. 
uh, add that's about it now let's go through how you can use it to be more efficient for example you can add your email signature here and just do seek or you can add a response that you have to answer a lot of times the same question on a forum about your company or about yourself you can just add it here and whenever you need it just use the shortcut named trigger to expand it it has more documentation too but i think this is enough for the first for the first tutorial if you have any other question you can leave them down below don't forget to like this video if you liked it or dislike if you didn't also don't forget if you like this uh, tool you can donate to the creator of it by clicking these two buttons i'm not affiliated with him but i think he's doing a great job that's all for today have a great day bye bye